Welcome to the third video in the series BCC 2020, which covers question number three, which is called locked chests. So five different chests are engraved with letters as shown in this diagram. Each chest has a key labeled the digits corresponding to the chest's engraved letters. Each digit always corresponds to the same letter. The keys fell on the floor and one label was lost. So we have four keys, one without a label. Sorry, there's five keys, four with a label, one without. What was the lost label? 496, 639, 436, or 649. Now this question addresses cryptography. Cryptography is used in many things, including uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, uh, but we're looking at something specific called encryption today. Encryption and cri encryption is a type of cryptography, and it has to do with mapping certain letters to other letters in a process that's reversible. So if we map the letters straight downwards and we try to write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, which we've mapped to the letters 1 through 10, we just get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, that would be easily reverse engineered. So to make this slightly harder, we would map something like A to 2, B to 3, etc. And at the end, we have J being mapped to 1. Now, this is slightly harder, and um, this is a shifted cipher. I think it's also known as a uh, Caesar cipher, where you map the letter A to another one that's shifted by one. These these could be be letters too, but for the simplicity of this example, I'm using let, uh, numbers. Now, in the case of this question, we have something like the number three being mapped to E, maybe maybe six is mapped to B, maybe five is mapped to G. So there's no real pattern. The way we find out is by using clues or context. And so that's how cryptography is related in this question. And so if we look at these five chests, we do see some patterns emerging. First, we see that this has the letters B, E, and B, right? And this is the only chest with two letters repeated. And the only key with two letters repeated is over here, 636. Six. And so we know that B is 6 and E is 3. So B is 6, E is 3. Excuse my bad handwriting. It's hard to write on the computer. Now, if we look at the next three chests, we see that they all have the letter B in them. And so we, need to, we know that there's at least three more chests with the letter 6 as the ending, but we only see two. And so through that, we know that this key must end in a 6. All right, so this must end in a 6. There's three digits. The last digit must be a 6. Now, we know E, right? We know the letter E is mapped to 3. And so we know that this is 3 something 6. So the middle chest is 3 something 6. And... There's two possible keys for that currently, for that we know. We know that th the key on the bottom left over here and the key on the top right over here, 396 and 346. Now we also see that there's EAB, which could also be mapped to this or that, to the same two keys. So R and A may be equal to 9 and 4, but we don't know what the middle key is, so we can't say for sure what it is. Now we see that AER has the middle letter of E, which is mapped to 3. So now we know that something, 3, something. Now, currently we see that 934 is the only one with that. And we see that the last digit cannot be 6 because each letter is mapped to only one number. And so since we know that, we can eliminate at the unknown key will be A, will be mapped to this chest. And so we know that A, E, R is mapped to 934. So that means A is 9 and R is 4. So A is 9, R is 4. So now we know that this key is checked off and this key is checked off. This chest is checked off 
and this chest is checked off. So now we know that the last letters are six. Now between these, we see that's three, three, and we see R. R has to start with four. Now, none of the keys that we haven't checked off except for the unknown one starts with four. So we know that the, the unknown key must be chest R, A, B. And through that knowledge, we also know that A is nine. So this one, the fourth chest must be mapped to the top right key. And the third chest is mapped to the bottom left key. Now, through this knowledge, we know that the first letter is 4, because we already know what R is, and we also know what A is. So, we know that the key should hold the numbers 496. And if we check the answers, we see that this indeed is answer selection A. And so, we can confidently select number selection A as the correct answer. And so, through this question, we have learned about cryptography and how encryption works, too. And we've applied it to this question to figure out which, what was the numbers of an encrypted, what would the numbers be of the key of the encrypted message of a chest. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you would like to see, if you have anything you want to see, if you wish me to explain something in more detail, or if you have any questions, concerns, or comments. Uh, if you want to see more content, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.